Hello, how you doing? This is Dara again on Dev Cloud and DevOps. Ask me anything. Well, I know it's been some time since I answered questions here because it's been really busy in the DevOps world. But of course, I'm here to answer another question today. And the next question I'll be answering was asked. Uh, it's quite a bit of questions, so I'm going to read it out here from my computer. It says, I completed my graduation in 2019 and working as a cloud service engineer. Working on Windows, Server, Linux, VMware, vSphere, Active Directory, Grafana, SolarWinds, etc. However, I am desperately looking to switch my profile to DevOps. I have completed AWS Cloud Practitioner, Ansible, and Linux course from Udemy. Please guide me with this and help me in switching my profile. Well, for one, I must say being a cloud service engineer is a really good job because you're responsible for managing and you know maintaining the cloud platform for your organization or your customers depending on the kind of work you're doing and you essentially managing the cloud infrastructure for those businesses which is a subset of what a devops engineer really does so you are actually one leg into the devops world uh, of course also cloud engineering devops engineering the definition differs from organization to organization depending on the job description but on a general note a class service engineer manages the cloud deploys applications manages infrastructure ensures things are running up and fine but the devops engineer essentially introduces processes and businesses so what you want to be looking to doing and i'm going to make this short i don't want to make it so long what you want to be looking to doing now is aside from managing the infrastructure and deploying the infrastructure you want to be looking at automation of the deployment of applications and services to those platforms because essentially looking at the definition of devops which is the yearn of people processes and products to deliver value to end customers you want to be looking at getting products out to the customers in an automated fashion and of course introducing processes that makes it easier and faster for both developers and users to be able to manage applications and solutions that you deploy so if you want to essentially look into doing devops you need to look into things like uh, uh in the microsoft world azure devops of course is one of the things you want you want to be looking at github actions is also one of them essentially azure devops is a solution that helps you manage your devops workflow in an enterprise format so you have pipelines you have pipelines that helps you to build and deploy your code to different environments be it azure aws or anywhere you want or even virtual machines or gcp as it may be or even uh, on-prem servers then it has uh, repos which helps you store your source code and artifacts and stuff then also you have uh pipeline so i mentioned pipelines you also have boards which helps you manage your work items and uh all the likes of its work items planning sprint planning etc it has all those facts and of course azure artifacts helps you store your artifacts for your solutions your you know your packages and stuff so those are some of the things test plans also is also in there if you want to look at actually really doing azure devops of course github actions also has a similarity to that but of course i'm not so deep into the github world right now so i'm not sure for the set but of course i know there's github actions which is one of the things i've been playing with in the last couple of weeks so you want to be essentially be looking at bringing in processes and automating those processes for developers and uh your stakeholders your project managers your business analysts essentially you're taking your cloud engineering one notch up into the automation world you're not just managing infrastructure now you're managing the deployment and automation of the deployment of solutions to the cloud so essentially if you're looking to switch into devops you're just taking one step up essentially you're looking at automating everything you do from day to day automating deployment of infrastructure bringing it as part of your code uh, deploying it so even putting your infrastructure code into source control infrastructure as code uh, those are some of the things you've been doing but of course now putting it into, into an automated format is what you'll be looking at doing so essentially if you're looking to switch from dev cloud engineering into devops you're just taking it one step up you're still in the devops world essentially but of course you're now looking at automation and bringing in processes to make the deployment of software management of software easier for developers and of course making it to get to the hands of the users faster 
and better. And of course, bringing in the feedback system into the loop. I hope that answered your question. But of course, if you still have more questions, feel free to drop in the comment section. And also, uh, let me know if this answered your question. If not, I'll try to make a more comprehensive video on this. And this is Dev Cloud and DevOps Ask Me Anything. I am Daryl Ladapo, and I'll see you again in another video. Remember to ask your questions in the comment section if you have questions, of course, and also in the pinned comments on this video. I'll see you again in another video. Stay safe and goodbye.